What's going on guys? It is Shay here. Today everybody, welcome back to another prop review. And today guys, I want to be reviewing a blaster pistol that is not so common in Star Wars canon, but has a lot of information in Star Wars Legends or Star Wars EU. And today I want to be reviewing the Luxon Penetrator or the Luxon Penetrator or the Penetrator MB450 from Star Wars. Now this is not such a, it's a pretty small gun, but packs a pretty good punch. It's not a holdout blaster and it's not your average blaster pistol it is a sporting blaster um and for anyone who watches the clone wars may have at least seen this blaster at least once by the famous bounty hunter slash gunslinger bulldoga video but with that being said let's begin the luxon penetrator i must which, which one should i say the luxon or the luxon let's say luxon the luxon penetrator is a sporting blaster pistol that actually packs quite a punch although with its really small, or not really small size, but although with its small size. And it also has a stun setting, which apparently uh, on the wiki, it actually said that, it's like, that the stun setting up here is negligible, which I'm assuming means that it's not worth using. The looks and penetrator is only used by one person that, as far as we know, that is Bulduga, who is uh, who was a bounty hunter in the Clone Wars, who was killed by Cad Bane during a quick draw thing, where even though Bulduga is actually really good at drawing his blaster pistol, you know, it's a quick drawer, just like Cad Bane. Cad Bane's even faster than him, so that's why he uh, sadly went. Not really much is known about the Luxon Penetrator because, you know, it's a legend. It's like the, it's manufactured by Luxon Personal Armament. It also has Galvin circuits in the blaster. I won't say Galvin circuits, that's Galvin coils, which I don't think they're the same thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they're the same thing. Um, and... Because of that, the, trying to aim with this blaster is even harder to do because due to the Galvin coils or maybe even the Galvin circuits, you know, it's going to be a lot harder since there's no scope on this blaster, which you can clearly see here. Um, but what's cool is that there's actually a front sight to this uh, blast, I say to this optic, to this blaster, and that's right here. All right, so I had to switch locations for a second. There's bees behind me. I'm not trying to get stung in the back of my neck. So, uh, yeah. That is really it of the Lux and Penetrator. And so as, as I said, we've already discussed about the users, what other mode it has, which is a stun setting, and what kind of blaster it is. It is a sporting blaster. And, you know, it's a little more powerful than your average sporting blaster. And due to the, like due to a small size and due to the fact that it says that it actually packs a heavy punch, I'm assuming this has a lot of recoil. Probably also the reason why that it's a little hard to aim with or like makes it more difficult to aim due to the galvan coils that are inside this blaster. So, as I said, not much is known about this gun, so I guess we're going to move on to a shooting test, but due to the fact that I, I've never actually heard this blaster ever fired, so I don't know what, this, what the noise of this thing makes, so I'm gonna have to find a random blaster noise or something like that, or I might just have to recycle one. So, let's go ahead and move on over here and do a shooting test because this sun is actually behind the clouds and it's actually really nice. For the rest of this week, it's gonna be pretty nice, like in terms of temperature. So, let's go ahead and move on today. All right, so we're here at a little range, which is literally just like a couple meters away from where I was just standing at. So, Luxon Penetrator, or the Penetrator MB450. Let's do this. So, due to the fact that I don't know what this blaster sounds like when it is shot or like when it's fired, um, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to shoot slow because I'm not familiar with this blaster and it was just a random thing I decided to make. So, so here we go, Luxon Penetrator, firing. Here we go. Now we're gonna move on to the stun setting. Since I have no idea where you would activate the stun setting on this blaster, like there's no indication at all where you activate it. Not, not even like a button or like a, like like a like a, like I guess you could say like a knob or something like that. I don't I have no idea. So we're just gonna pretend. We're gonna pretend it's like somewhere on top of here. I'm assuming this is the power pack. So uh, all right, here we go. Stun mode on the penetrator firing. All right, so that really does it for this review. As I said, this is not a very well-known blaster pistol since the manufacturer is is really only mentioned in Legends and Legends continuity and not in canon. Um, but, and only one character in Star Wars canon actually uses this blaster and that is Wolduga. So yeah, with that being said, actually I think he owned two of these and it's actually modified. His uh, Lux and Penetrator was actually modified. I'm assuming, I don't know, to grips or something. I have no idea. But with that being said, I'm going to go and end this video right here. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. 
Um, sorry if this was really short. Um, this actually might have been a really short part. If there was no intro to this, which I was actually planning for it to have an intro. But I decided not to. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.